wreak havoc. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most awesome X-Men characters that have slipped underneath the radar. Leave now. Mephisto and I have some catching up to do. Number 20, Jubilee. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm one of you, one of the X-Men, and it means more to me than anything in the world. Jubilation Lee is a mutant with the ability to create concentrated energy blasts from her hands as if she were making fireworks. She's a young plucky member of the X-Men who, like the power she possesses, is a real firecracker. Jubilee's explosive, powerful, and not to mention just a fun character to be around. She's even managed to develop a rapport with gruff characters like Wolverine. Although Jubilee's generated buzz through her comic appearances and role on the critically acclaimed animated series, there's arguably more work to be done. Even though she's been brought to cinematic screens before, her screen time's been so minimal that it felt criminal. Jubilee scenes in X-Men Apocalypse were even cut down. This flashy and exciting character definitely deserves a lot more shine. Give me a rematch? I don't have any more quarters. I got it. Number 19, Warpath. After James Proudstar's brother was killed, the mutant went on what could only be described as a warpath. He joined up with morally gray mutants and used his enhanced physical abilities to get justice. Whenever the Sentinels attack, Warpath spots them. To succeed on missions, James relies on a variety of powers that include superhuman strength, durability, vastly enhanced senses, and more. He's also tough enough to hold back powerful enemies like the Juggernaut. The main reason James was reluctant to side with the heroes was because his brother died while working with the X-Men. However, he's still been amongst the team ranks at certain points. Since James has a cool backstory and impressive powers, we would love to see him play a bigger role on the main squad. Well, then we leave before they ever know we were there. Because we never were. Number 18, Blink. You got yourself out of prison using some kind of portal, right? You think you could get someone in? It doesn't work like that. Blink and you miss her. Clarice Ferguson is a mutant with the abilities of teleportation. With her powers, she can create portals that send people or objects across pretty much anywhere. Although the original version of the character was killed off fairly quickly, the second iteration was so celebrated that she became a comic staple. Blink has been a solid member of Xavier's team. Outside of them, she was part of a multiverse hopping group known as the Exiles. Despite having an awesome resume, we're still somehow not living in a universe where Blink is a ridiculously popular mutant. Not even Blink's stint as a main character on The Gifted was enough. We still have hope she'll open a portal into the limelight soon. Hurry, come on. Number 17, Cypher. On the surface, Douglas Ramsey, aka Cypher, might not sound that impressive. He was born with the ability to understand and speak any language. His skills made him a very valuable X-Man, even though he doesn't have the physical skill set to fight Sabretooth. The linguist is much more than just a sentient version of Google Translate. Cypher's ability to understand any and all languages across the known universe allows him to communicate with aliens and technology. At one point, he discovers he can talk to Krakoa, an island where mutants often find sanctuary. Then why don't you move to Krakoa? Located wherever it wants to be, Krakoa is a living island. Overall, his abilities have helped him and his teammates get out of lots of binds in the past. If knowledge is indeed power, then Cypher is an incredibly formidable mutant. Jonah, they say that knowledge is power. And if that's the case, I'm feeling very powerful. Number 16, Forge. Bishop, say hello to Forge. We must hurry. Highlighting the brilliant mutant inventor known as Forge was a no-brainer. Thanks to his abilities, he can basically pull a MacGyver and turn any machine into a dangerous weapon. Forge's experience as a war veteran also allows him to bring a wealth of battle knowledge to the team. And if his technology ever fails him, Forge can rely on his mystical powers to get him out of any tight jams. At the end of the day, his powerful arsenal has alternated between being a saving grace for heroes and serving as a silver bullet against mutants in the hands of enemies. The complex relationship he has with his creations lie at the heart of fascinating stories that wider audiences need to hear more of. Hold on, don't celebrate yet. 
We have to trick the phalanx into assimilating the virus quickly before it knows what it is. One of us will have to act as bait. Number 15, Wolfsbane. I remember running through the woods. How did you feel? Free? Rain Sinclair learned the hard way that not all mutations are met with instant applause. She was born with the ability to transform into a werewolf. Instead of being celebrated for her gifts, Rain's father led a mob against her that sought to burn her at the stake. Fortunately, she escaped this Salem wolf trial and went on to become a cool mutant. Rain's ability to retain her intelligence in her werewolf form makes her sharper than the average canine. Additionally, she can heal pretty quickly and partially transform if it's more convenient for her. Ronnie, do you think you can track Mr. McCoy's scent? Um, I guess so. I've never tried anything like that. Go for it. We'll keep up. And if we're being honest, werewolves have always been pretty awesome. So Rain's status as a mutant werewolf makes her at least ten times cooler than the other half canines. <laughs> Number 14, Phantomex. This mutant was originally created in the hopes that he would fight or kill mutants that stood against government interests. The professor's still in there with another mutant. He's trapped in some kind of illusion. However, he ignored his original purpose and decided to strike out on his own. Phantomex's mutant abilities include the ability to influence an enemy's perception via a series of hallucinogenic illusions. He's got superior strength, agility, and marksmanship. Phantom X also possesses three brains, which can survive independent of each other, and a symbiotic nervous system known as Eva. Underneath all the powers, the mutant has complex motivations and a willingness to go to extreme lengths to keep people safe. From here, it doesn't look like they're playing by your rules. Maybe it's time to play by theirs. Phantom X's morally gray personality makes him a great wild card that should get play in bigger stories. Number 13, Nate Gray. Does it hurt? Many comic universes are full of alternate timelines that let us see variants of our favorite icons. Nate Gray is a great example of this trend. In another world, he was created from genetic material that was harvested from Cyclops and Jean Grey. Nate's parentage allowed him to develop Omega-level powers that included everything from telepathy to the ability to fire dangerous blasts. He eventually gained enough control of his powers to battle the impossibly strong Apocalypse. Although Nate seemingly disappeared due to some time travel shenanigans, he later re-emerged and played a part in X-Men history. We'd love to see him make an impact again while sharing stories with Cable in live action. I'm done with you. Number 12, Danielle Moonstar. She's been called Psych, Mirage, and Ridiculously Dangerous. Danielle Moonstar's mutant ability allows her to tap into someone's fears or desires. Once she's formed a connection, she can turn once intangible concerns or dreams into illusions that feel incredibly real. Danielle, why didn't you at least warn us you could do that? Because nobody ever wants a freak around who brings their worst nightmares to life. You're not a freak. Danielle has taken her abilities to teams like X-Force and the New Mutants. During her long career, she took a trip to Asgard, managed to level up her magical abilities, and became a Valkyrie. Outside of her awesome history, Danielle's been celebrated as a beacon of Native American representation. She also carried enough weight to be made into the lead of the New Mutants film. No. I'm in charge now. Control. Although that movie didn't do her interesting story justice, Danielle deserves another chance to show us what she's capable of. Number 11, Dazzler. She can transform sun into powerful bolts of light. Originally, this mutant performer was meant to be a fictional marketing tool that could promote real music. Alison Blair, aka Dazzler, was created when Marvel Comics made a deal with a disco label known as Casablanca Records. After the music company ran into financial trouble, the mutant had to put on her roller skates and pivot to another place in comic history. It helped that she had the ability to transform sound vibrations into light beams. However, Dazzler wasn't placed in the most compelling stories at first. 
Although she got off to a rocky start, she grew into a cult fan favorite and managed to become an LGBT plus icon. It's incredible that Dazzler went from being a marketing ploy to an enduring comic character. How about that Dazzler, huh? Didn't I tell you she's something? Number 10, Darwin. Well, uh, Darwin's already a nickname and you know, sort of fits. Adapt to survive and all. If you want to really survive in the Marvel Universe, you need to be able to adapt. With Darwin, that's what he's all about. His adaptive evolution abilities let him change his physiology so he could survive all kinds of environments. It doesn't matter whether he's submerged underwater, shot into space, or dumped into a volcano. Darwin will always find a way to deal. So tell me about your mutation. Well, I adapt to survive. So I guess I'm coming with you. Surprisingly, Darwin's never really been a major player outside of comics. And when he was brought to life in X-Men First Class, he was shockingly killed when he couldn't adapt. Fans were understandably upset by how the character was mishandled then. Let's hope our world can evolve into one that appreciates Darwin a lot more. Number 9. Multiple Man Take your best shot. It's your face, pal. Ugh. What's this, a two-for-one sale? As Multiple Man, Jamie Madrox has the ability to create duplicates of himself. It's a process that's as easy for him as snapping his fingers. His dupes can think and even duplicate on their own. At the same time, Jamie can always reabsorb them back into himself. If the dupes learn any new skills or take in new knowledge, Multiple Man can gain their wisdom later. Jamie's powers seem to have seemingly endless capabilities. But he was used as little more than a distraction when he finally got adapted to the screen in The Last Stand. Since the character was originally going to get a feature film, it's safe to say Hollywood recognizes the value of Multiple Man. I could use a man of your talents. I'm in. Welcome to the Brotherhood. Number 8, Sunspot. Come on, give me some sun! Talking. Roberto da Costa is a Brazilian mutant with powers of solar energy absorption. Once he gets a hold of that energy, he can then use it to create blast, fly, and even enter a cool energized form. Whenever Roberto's all charged up, he can withstand a lot of damage. Outside of his powers, Sunspot leads an interesting day-to-day -day life. Roberto led a company named da Costa International and took on a management position as the leader of a team of super-powered people. Sunspot has always shown when given the opportunity to make a difference. Although he can be a bit of a hothead, we still love to bask in his light. Ah, just feel that sun, man. It totally juices me, yeah! Number 7, Sunfire. Don't you get it? Xavier was about as normal as we mutants get. He was famous, rich, and human looking. And someone went after him in front of the whole world. What are you going to do about it? War! Sunfire's association with the X-Men was as brief as it was memorable. This mutant's ability to convert solar radiation into super hot plasma was as fiery as his notable temper. Thanks to his personality and wild powers, this X-Man was not exactly suitable for teamwork. Sunfire originally also had a deep grudge against the US. This stemmed from the fact that his mother was exposed to radiation after an atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. Shiro's tragic backstory and unique power set made him stand out amongst the legions of mutants. And since he's been known to shift loyalties in the middle of battles, no one's safe from his wrath. Hopefully, more creatives continue to fan the flames underneath Sunfire's stories. I've been in contact with mutants around the globe. They're ready to fight. Who is with me? Yeah! yeah! Number six, Cannonball. Where are you going? I got me a train to catch. This fan favorite X-Man character initially lived a normal life in Kentucky until he was trapped in a coal mine cave-in. Fortunately for Samuel, he was able to tap into his mutant abilities to move at high speeds while being surrounded by a force field that protected him from harm. Although Cannonball was hired to attack heroes, he soon rejected his evil employers and started leading the new mutants. Humble, thoughtful, and a natural leader, Samuel places care of his family first and foremost. His abilities also allow him to come up with clever ways to stop his enemies. If Cannonball just got a little more momentum outside of comics, we're confident he'd gain some serious pop culture popularity. You're most right, Sam. You got better things ahead of you than working your life away in a hole in the ground. Number 5. Zorn 
Conceived by legendary writer Grant Morrison, Zorn is a character that possesses a small sun as his brain. And no, that's not a metaphor. Zorn has to wear a mask to contain the vast energy he possesses. Not only does the accessory keep him from going nuclear, but it also makes him look really cool. He also has the powers of gravity manipulation, light projection, and most notably, mastery of magnetic fields. Marvel even once revealed Zorn to be Magneto. Admittedly, the company later walked that revelation back. McAvoy or Stewart, these timelines are so confusing. But the fact that Zorn nearly became one of the most famous villains ever says a lot. This mutant can definitely take his place among the top mutants if he can be adapted with a much simpler backstory. We will strike with a vengeance and a fury that this world has never witnessed. Number four, Havoc. You know, when I do this, bad things tend to happen. It's because you can't control it. It controls you. That's why we're here, Alex. That's why we're training. Although general audiences know Cyclops fairly well, they are probably not as familiar with his brother Alex. The younger Summers can absorb energy and essentially bounce it back off of himself to create powerful attacks. While cosmic radiation is a dangerous thing to play with, Alex, aka Havoc, usually has it under control. He's been a part of numerous teams such as the X-Men, X-Factor, and even the Avengers. Alex is also one of the few mutants who has a complete immunity to Cyclops' iconic eye blast. That means that fights between them would not only be pretty even, but also exciting to watch. Here's hoping the new MCU X-Men team has room for more than one Summers. Hey! Hey, asshole! All will be revealed, my child. Stop! No! Number three, magic. I now know your power, new girl. Let me show you mine. When Ileana Rasputin was young, she was lured into a harsh dimension known as Limbo. Thankfully, her talent for combat, mutant ability to teleport, and natural aptitude for magic all helped her survive in that hellish place with her soul intact. Ileana later emerged from Limbo and joined teams like the New Mutants and X-Men under the code name Magic. At times, she even served the heroes alongside her brother Pietor, aka Colossus. But since Ileana's magical prowess was strong, she's constantly in demand in and out of comics. Magic became the sorceress supreme of the Limbo dimension. Outside of comics, the character earned prominent roles in film and in the Midnight Suns game. It won't be long before she teleports into many more stories. That thing will kill you! He's right, it's magic! So am I. Number two, Long Shot. Lover, rebel, movie star, your heartthrob and mine, Long Shot! There are some comic characters whose mutant powers are both a blessing and a curse, but only Long Shot is gifted with the power of good fortune. The one asterisk is that Longshot can only benefit from favorable odds if his motives are pure. While winning the lottery might not be an option, he can help a superhero achieve victory during a major conflict. So lucky one, it seems your luck has finally run out. Did we also mention that he has dual hearts, a healing factor, and natural athletic ability? Whenever we see him in a fight, we always assume the odds will be in his favor. Nice. Nah, just lucky. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Legion. Like his father Charles Xavier, David developed strong telepathic abilities. But years after destroying the mind of a vicious enemy, he was diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder. All the voices, the things I saw, they said I was schizophrenic, but that was it. They didn't know the truth, what I am, who I am. I have powers, I'm powerful. Each of his personalities had a different mutant ability. With each new alter came more power and an increased chance that David might lose control of his mind. Legion's tragic and sprawling backstory was brought to life in a critically acclaimed FX series. The success of the series proved that David could carry an entire show, so it's high time he got to star in a bigger project with a team of X-Men. 
Making him into a villain, hero, or something in between in a New Mutant project could lead to him gaining legions of new fans. Yes. I know what I have to do. Is there an underrated X-Man we missed? Let us know in the comments. You know what? I'm done. You had your chance. Dave. No. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.